Good Friday morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show where we are celebrating patriotism ahead of the Republic Day holiday tomorrow. And to do so, I am joined by two women who are, well, here to tell us more about some art by women. Joining me this morning, we have Sarah Mohammed, the uh, national artist, and of course, uh, Miss Nalini Akal. Nalini is at the helm of women in art, yes. getting us ready for the exhibition. Signs, is it? Signs, yes. Ladies, good morning and welcome good to the morning. Good morning Show. <laughs> We're going to get straight into it because quite recently our Prime Minister said that, well, to paraphrase, someone who understands art sees the country and the world in a different way. Right. Give or take the quote. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. As an artist, what does that mean? What does that translate to and how does that impact your work? Well, actually, I think it's a good initiative. And finally, we can see some sort of focus on the visual arts mm -hmm. in the country. And to be honest, you know, certain elements like hope and peace are very good for us to aspire together mm -hmm. in full unity. And I love that you used actual words from <laughs> our church, aspiring <laughs> together. It's exactly what mm -hmm. Women in Art is doing, yes? Correct. So, let me tell me a little bit more about that organizational movement. Why are we focusing on females in art specifically? Actually, um, it's been a, it's actually 26 years this year that the Women in Art organization has been around. Brava. And we <laughs> have um, things like the biennial that happens next year, which is actually supporting, every other year it supports kids, um, you know, to do art and we give out awards and so forth. This year, the science exhibition especially has been very beautiful and we've been encouraging people to come and see it at the Rotunda. Mm. It's very, very, very beautiful. And, um, and also we're encouraging people to think about art investment as well, purchasing work that will definitely accrue or increase in value, mm. you know, and also beautify your home. Of course. You know, and the thing is, you, you asked the question earlier about artists. Artists appreciate nature. If you appreciate nature, then you'll appreciate the space you're in. And that is something I think that women especially, you know, they want to see beauty, they want to see love and, and happiness in our space. So therefore, that is the, the different attitude is what you're going to do towards your own country. I think that is what we really want to look at, you know. Now, you, you've let the cat out of the bag, of, so it's in that yeah. the exhibition is taking place at the Rotunda, and that in itself, mm -hmm. an iconic location, the Red yes, House, correct. is something that I would mm -hmm. love to experience. So even if I had never seen any exhibition before, I was exactly. going to this one. Yes. Of course, it's fitting because it's in tune with our Republic Day coming up as it well. Is. But I understand that you've had some pre-shows, so to speak, where particularly the Indian High Commission, is it? The yes. Indian High Commissioner, rather, and his wife were able to see some of the pieces and fell in love. Am yes, I right? correct. Any particular pieces then that well, we should look forward to most? <laughs> well, he adored the Anne Stapleton mm -hmm. sweet pan. Mm -hmm. Again, fitting. Yes. <laughs> if you were to describe the work of Anne, how would you? Um, just for those of us who haven't seen just yet. <laughs> I think Nalini yes. could I better explain that. So Anne's work is probably one of the best investments someone can make in terms of, you know, an artist. She has been a steady um, creator. She uses exquisite technique. Her composition styles, for example, what she used in Sweet Pan is a beautiful cyclical movement, if you can see it. The mm. colors she used almost mimic the sweet colors of a, a purple or, or mango. Mm. And the expressions on the, on the panist's face is just one of pure joy. You know that musicians feel that love when they're playing. Absolutely. So you know, Sweet Pan for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, more pieces mm -hmm. like this in terms of themed around mm -hmm. our yes. patriotism are absolutely there. But yes. let's talk a little bit about your work as a national artist. Yes, we will get patriotic pieces, but are there particular types or even styles that you prefer to do more than others? Um, to be honest, I like more of the cubism mm -hmm. style. And for laymen, so what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> It means that I do more depth. Mm -hmm. I show more depth in my work. So we'll get a lot of detail. A lot yes. of things you want to see up close and personal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can get everyone to head to the Rotunda. The exhibition yes. is on as we speak. Yes, yes? It, it actually, um, we had our opening night on Sunday the 18th. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the 19th, we officially opened. Um, the Indian High Commissioner, they were there with us a couple of days ago. We walked them through. Mm -hmm. Our patroness is Mrs. Noor Has or Mrs. Hassan Ali, is Alea Hassan Ali. Mm -hmm. And she was just lovely. So because of COVID regulations, we had her walk through at one 
p.m. before the actual opening night, right. you know, for safety protocols. Of course. And, um, you know, she totally thought the entire exhibition is beautiful. A lot of people have passed through and they're like, this is a beautiful exhibition. Mm -hmm. the, the way they love, you can see, um, you know, the way the ex artists express their love in the different pieces, I think it's something that people just can't believe that, that people have so many expressions or thoughts about signs of hope, of love, you know, of the future. Mm -hmm. And that is really the importance of the exhibition. We will certainly make time to experience yes, that. <laughs> but then you also are doing, speaking of the future, some mm. future works, yes. I believe, yes. that I do want the country to know about. So what is next? Oh, well, for me personally, I have a, a lot of um, products, which, um, for example, I'm writing right now. Me, that's me personally. Mm -hmm. I have some art investment concepts for the country to assist artists in terms of understanding how to market their work, Beautiful. how to, to sell work, and how to go internationally and, and so forth. So for me, I've already started that process in the pandemic with my dance work, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm also starting for dance. I'm doing something called Return to the Goddess, right. which is where even though I've been in belly dance and I started the belly dance revolution in Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. I'm actually passing on a lot of my information to yeah, my new students and coaching mm -hmm. them. And so I'm also mentoring Sarah here in terms of marketing of work and how to put together oneself. And she's done a great job by herself, but we're just carrying it to the next level. Of course, of course. Yeah. Because here, as an artist, you started by saying, finally, there's some attention on the yes. visual art. So Correct. we know that there is some work to be done and mm -hmm. it's getting its start at the very least, mm -hmm. towards something better. Now, Sarah, in terms of exhibitions or other projects for you, what can we look forward to in terms of upcoming work? Well, I will be working on my first coloring book. Nice. Along mm -hmm. with... Your yeah, first coloring book as <laughs> a visual artist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, actually, I already have a more collaborative coloring book with my mom. Mm -hmm. She is also an artist. Of course. Um, but my first one, and... Um, I will be working on my solo exhibition, which should be in the next year or two. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people don't know, when we talk about you having an exhibition, this is years mm -hmm. of work coming yes. through. I mean, there are other artists who will do a shorter period and much mm -hmm. more intensely lock themselves in a room, but what mm -hmm. is your process like? Well, it depends on my mood. I usually meditate, mm -hmm. and once I get in that full mood, I um I can take about a day or two to do a piece. I must say I can absolutely identify with someone who meditates. <laughs> it resonates throughout your personality yes, because there I am, Japan. And Sarah is like, yes, mm -hmm, very, very calm. <laughs> so I hope that it also translates in your work because as, you, as much as we want the hope and the love, we also want to be relaxed. We also want yes. to enjoy. We mm -hmm. also want serenity. So I imagine that translates in your themes as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Well, ladies, in terms of reaching you outside of these exhibitions and future projects, mm -hmm. what are we looking for? Instagram, Facebook, online, how can we connect with you? Well, Women in Art has, an ex um, has the Instagram, of course, which is easy, W-I-A-O underscore T-T. So it's Women in Art Organization of Trinidad and Tobago. And you can also Google us, you know, if we have a website, it's very active with blogs and chats and you know, sometimes if, uh, like, for example, we have another artist, um, uh, Kessa, mm -hmm. she does um, the mosaics. And the thing is, is that she has these courses run all the time. And, you know, wh while she's there, she has her blog running, she has her chat running, and people are just constantly involved. So once she says there's a course, people are going, all right, we're in already. So this helps streamline the artist in terms of, you know, you don't have to just now start a fresh advertising right. when you're ready to do a project you're constantly feeding your, your group. Mm -hmm. So when it's time to do something, they're, they're already, already there. Yes. Genius, genius. So, yes. so we're finding you online, we're finding you on your website. Mm -hmm. Sarah, how do we find you? Um, they could find me on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, same Sarah and Radha Mohammed. Mm -hmm. Nice. And in that case, I'll look out mm -hmm. for you at the Rotunda. Mm -hmm. And you guys should head there as the exhibition continues today through the... Till the, the 15th of October. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Best month of the year. Mm -hmm. But for now, yes. we <laughs> take a quick break. We come back with birthdays, which will help us to continue the Republic Day celebrations right here on the Now Morning Show. Stick around, guys. Yeah.